So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover this amazing project basically this is the last project so first of all open it in a new tab and then you can see here we have to just set our de developer option okay just we have to enable the developer organization how we have to do do not worry each thing will be covered on this video so let's see so now from here you have to just right click and open in a new tab and just like we are completing other modules also like this only we have to complete this module too so basically here you have to enter your email name and all these things just follow as i am doing so that you are able to complete it so just enter it now here you have to use your personal email address which you'll be using for completing the lab i am using the same email address which i am just using it earlier also now here just select the role you can select any role there is no restriction again select all these things now here you can write anything okay like you can write anything but if you're trying to write the your name you cannot use the same name as a password now click on sign up now here one thing you need to take care that we'll be getting a authentication email basically we have to receive the password but basically that email is sent later okay that email comes later sometimes even 10 minutes sometimes even within five minutes so you need to wait until you get the email okay so just wait for it and let's move ahead to the next step so now finally you can clearly see that uh, email is arrived you have to click on the mail and then you can see over here we have to click on the reset password so how we have to do it you have to scroll down the mail and after that basically yeah click on the verify account now once you have clicked on the verify account you can just see okay you can just see over here you can see the option to just reset the password is here you have to click on it now here you have to enter the password basically make sure there is no any name over here just enter the carefully all the password and security question just follow as i am doing so just enter the password carefully let me show you Now once you have done this basically it will reload and open a new page so just wait for this page to open after that we have to connect our organization basically the developer edition organization you can close this pop-up over here you can clearly see this pop-up you need to close do not save it so come over here and just you can close this existing tab also there is not a big deal and once you have closed it you have to simply come to the basically lab manual you can see you have to just come over there and just uh, turn on some of the settings like einstein agent force and then we have to connect our salesforce with the slack okay so let me show you how you have to do it now you can clearly see this thing okay come to the lab instruction and from here click on the three dots connect organization and after that simply you have to just sign in using the same thing you have to enter the email address check your mail and then for the password you know it better how you have to add the password just add it and then simply you have to just click on sign in so finally we are done with this thing now simply click on allow and then again yes save it so if you try to view the basically the playground you can see at the bottom that it is successfully connected now launch it we have to activate some of the things
Now from the quick find, you have to just open one thing which you have to open. I will show you. Do not worry about it. Just simply type this Einstein setup. Click on it. Wait for it to get loaded. Now here it will take some time, so wait for it. Now toggle on this setting. And one more important thing that is basically the Einstein bots. We have to turn it on. So once you have turned it on, after that we have to just first of all let me on it. Okay, so we are owning, uh, sorry, turning on the Einstein bots and then we'll open the agent force pipes. We'll just wait for some more time. And finally, it is just now enabled. So after that, just type agent force agent sorry agent force agent we have to open in case you are unable to find it you can simply reload the browser window and try again so finally it is loaded now in the quick find box you have to just enter it Just enter it carefully. So finally you have opened it. Now here we have to turn on two settings. One is default and one is only the agent force agent. So you have to click on that toggle. You can see clearly that the agent force toggle is here. So we have to just turn it on. So just turn it on. So once you have turned it on, the next step is that you have to scroll down at the bottom and just turn on the default agents too. So how you have to do it, do not worry about it. We'll cover each and everything and if you're following the video, you'll be able to complete it. So here you can clearly see that the agents are successfully been enabled. Now here we have to just turn on. So now let's scroll down and turn it on. So finally we have turned on both the things. Now we have to configure the next step basically just configuring the slack. So how we have to do it, do not worry about it. Come over here, you can see that this thing we have done now we have to just open it in a new tab and then basically you have to just enter the password of the organization and make sure the email id is correct okay just click on login then and then just click on i don't need So this is just loading over here. We have to just configure all the things. Do not worry about it. So here just select this install for all users. Wait for it to get loaded. It's taking a bit of time. There is not a big deal. And here we are just installing and granting all the process access solely to the users. So just wait for it to get completed. And once it's done, we'll move forward to the lab instruction and simply check the points. So just wait for it to get completed. It will take some time. Now here you can clearly see that the installation process is successfully completed. Now you have to come back again and verify the points. One very important thing that a new event, basically the agent event is also running. So in case you have participated, you can check the playlist for the solution guide. All the videos are available on the channel. So let's wait for this to get completed and then we'll move forward. Uh, basically module you can see. 
to just check the points so here come over here scroll down a bit and simply click on verify now here sometimes if you face um, issues it will highlight the issues like it is not just catching all the things or installation has not been done properly so this is the thing apart from this if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel guys if you have any queries you can let me in the comment section so finally we have completed the first module and that's the way we have to complete the module one so now the rest two modules will be basically rest three modules will die soon Subscribe the channel and like the video.